Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna start making some art for our FPS game. First we're gonna make our knife. We don't need the reference image here. You can use one, but I'm gonna show you how to make just a basic simple knife. So I'll use my numpad to go into front orthographic view with 1 and 5. Press shift A and add mesh cube. And this will be our knife handle. In edit mode, I will go and add a loop cut in the middle and delete the right side of the mesh. I will go to the modifiers tab and add a mirror modifier and mirror on the Y axis and also turn on clipping. Don't apply it yet, but now I'll press 1 and 5 to go into front of the graphic again. And now I can just model my handle. I can uh, press Z so I can select all the vertices and then C for circle select tool and then scale it and scale it on the Z axis. Go press 3 and make it thinner on the sides right here. What I will do is I will add some more detail by adding some more loop cuts. I will add a loop cut in the middle right here or two of them. You can change the number with uh, the scroll wheel on your mouse. Left click, press SX, move it to the sides here and also add a loop cut right here. And now I can select these four vertices and move them backwards. This looks a bit better right now. I'll just try and make a normal foot knife. So I will scale this actually a bit more on the Y axis. Select this loop cut with Alt and right click. And I'll move it a bit backwards. So we have more space for scaling and then scale again. Something like this seems fine. I'll go into edit mode and press shift A to add another cube. And also I have to mirror this cube. So add a loop cut again, delete the right side of the mesh. And you got it here. This is going to be our blade. So just press L while hovering over it. Select the whole thing, move it up. Around here, scale it on the X axis, scale it on the Y axis. And then I will just select this top part right here and move it up. This is our blade, about this high is good. I will add another loop cut in the middle right here and then I will just extrude this part once with E. Scale it on the X axis and take this middle part right here and move it up. This is the blade. This is probably the simplest knife ever. Now I just have to merge these vertices. I'll first I'll select the top one. First select the right one or the outer one and then the inner one. Press up M and at last. And do that for the rest of the knife. And also do the do that for the vertices down here. Alt M at last. Alt M at last. Now for some reason this part is a bit glitchy. Don't know why. If your glitch is like this, then just press Control R, add a loop right here, and then again just join these uh, vertices back together. First do the sides and then I guess do the, nope. Okay, if that doesn't work, just leave it like this. This will work too. It's not really a big problem. And now I can maybe play around with this knife shape right here. Maybe move this a bit in. Or first add a loop cut right here. And then move this part a bit in. This is all up to preference right here. Do it on the both sides. Like that. Looks pretty decent to me. I will add the one in the middle right here and then scale it a bit. Only a bit though. And for the bottom part right here, I will take this outer part right here and move it up. So it looks more, it has more of a shape. Again, this is my knife. You can make any knife you want, but I will use this one. Now we have to save it, but before we do, I'll just go here and change this to knife one. I will just go file, save as. I'll create a new folder right here, weapons. Then I will create a new one in it called knives. Go in there and just 
call this one a knife one. That's a decent name. Now apply the mirror modifier, press Rx minus 90, apply the con location, rotation and scale with control A. Press Rx 90 if you want, you don't have to again, this is not necessary. Export FBX, and call this one knife one FBX, check selected objects down here and the scale, press export FBX. Now we export our knife, in the next episode we're going to import it into Unity and use it in our game. Until next episode, I hope you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and also you can go follow me on my social media or even support me on Patreon if you like me. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.